Welcome to electromagnetics playlist. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakia, is going to explain you intrinsic impedance in this session. And to explain this session based on intrinsic impedance, first I'll explain you what is the basic meaning of intrinsic impedance. Then I'll explain you two basic formulas which is there with intrinsic impedance. And after that, we are deal with to understand what will be intrinsic impedance for lossless medium and for lossy medium. So all those points that I'll be going to cover in this session. So see, first of all, what is intrinsic impedance? See, intrinsic impedance, that is a impedance of medium in which wave is traveling. So let me mention that point. Intrinsic impedance, that is a impedance of medium in which wave is traveling. So based on medium we can define intrinsic impedance so intrinsic impedance that is purely based on medium now see basic formula of intrinsic impedance that is electric field divided by magnetic field so intrinsic impedance that we can calculate by electric field divided by magnetic field and one more formula that is there with intrinsic impedance that is intrinsic impedance that is square root of j omega mu divided by sigma plus j omega epsilon so these two formulas can explain you what is intrinsic impedance and i'll explain you calculation of intrinsic impedance for two mediums one is for lossless medium and second is for lossy medium so let us derive formula of intrinsic impedance for lossless medium and lossy medium. So first I'll consider a case of lossless medium. Now see lossless medium means what? Lossless, lossless medium has no loss of signal. And why there is no loss of signal? The reason is it does not have any free charge carrier in medium. So sigma value will be zero for lossless medium. So let me mention that over here, zero. So it explains us sigma value that is equals to zero. Now, as I have told you, intrinsic impedance that is square root of j omega mu divided by sigma plus j omega epsilon. So if you place sigma is equals to zero in this, you will be getting intrinsic impedance eta that is equals to square root of j omega mu divided by now you see sigma is zero in this so i'm just writing this j omega epsilon this j omega will get cancelled and this will be mu by epsilon now see for free space for free space we can say value of mu r and epsilon r that will be zero as we know mu that is mu zero mu r and epsilon that is epsilon 0 epsilon r right so for free space mu r and epsilon r that will be 1 and if you place that in this intrinsic impedance that will get changes to square root of mu r divided by epsilon r sorry mu 0 divided by epsilon 0 and if you know the values of mu 0 then see mu 0 is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 and epsilon 0 that is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 and if you solve this then you will be getting value of intrinsic impedance so let us solve this so this is 376.63 or one can say roughly it is 377 and we can even say that is 120 pi so you'll be finding for free space in examples we need to consider intrinsic impedance is equals to 120 pi or 377 and unit of intrinsic impedance is ohm so this is what about lossless medium for a calculation of intrinsic impedance now let us try to understand what will happen in case of lossy medium. So now we will see intrinsic impedance for lossy medium. 
now see for lossy medium that there will be charge carriers and that value of charge carrier that is very greater than one right so for lossy medium say sigma that is very greater than one and as sigma that is very greater than one for this intrinsic impedance you can say see this intrinsic impedance that is equals to square root of j omega mu divided by sigma plus j omega mu where sigma is very greater than one so we can say this denominator that will be approximately equals to sigma so intrinsic impedance for lossy medium that we can say that is square root of j omega mu divided by sigma so usually for lossy medium we consider intrinsic impedance as square root of j omega mu divided by sigma and for free space or one can say for lossless medium we usually consider that by 120 pi ohm so this is what about intrinsic impedance i hope that you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video you can give your valuable suggestions definitely based on it in future i'll make videos which will solve your queries thank you so much